Hey there, welcome to Guncraft. So this video is not a rant complaining about YouTube, but rather a carefully thought out appeal to the YouTube executives to reconsider their community guidelines policies. I know it might be wishful thinking to think that they'll even watch it, but hey, a guy can dream, right? My channel's Guncraft 101, so obviously for me, a lot of this pertains to guns. But it's more than just that. There are other controversial topics out there that's being suppressed, and other channels that are having their content suppressed that's not gun related. So what I'm really talking about is freedom, and ideas, and giving a voice to the people. Guns are a hot topic in the media, that's no mystery. Last year YouTube quietly updated their community guidelines to exclude any videos that promote sale, modification, or construction of firearms. Guncraft 101 has been directly and significantly affected by this, with my most popular videos getting demonetized and several other videos being taken down. So what, you say? Cry me a river, right? It's our website, not yours. Well, that's true. But I ask, what are you trying to accomplish here? Are you excluding content because of advertisers' preferences? That argument at least has some merit, but can easily be dealt with, while at the same time standing up for freedom of speech. If advertisers don't want their products associated with certain content, a simple flagging system would be a solution. Flag a video as a gun video, or whatever type of content that may be controversial, give it a flag, and allow advertisers to choose. Do you want your advertisements to be excluded on gun videos? Fine, we have a system to accommodate that. You could even have users choose to, in the same manner. They could restrict the content that's put on their home pages and suggested videos using a simple flagging system. Maybe those controversial videos wouldn't generate as much money, but freedom of speech would still be upheld. Or are you hoping to prevent people from having access to this information on the internet? Now that's wishful thinking. Already two websites have sprung up in the short time since these guidelines were changed. UGETube and Gunstreamer.com. Full30.com was already around. Not to mention the probably thousands of websites that you can get this information on. Forums, Reddit, manufacturers websites. YouTube simply does not have the power to keep this information from being available on the internet. That's a fact. So again, what are you trying to accomplish here with these restrictive policies? If it's a business decision to cater to advertisers, then use the flagging method that I just described. There are millions upon millions of people that strongly disagree with this, well, let's call it what it is, this censorship. I mean, these are legal activities. Gunsmithing is a respected, highly skilled, gainful career, and a necessary one. Do you want your police to have guns that are reliable and effective? They're going to need a gunsmith. How about your military? The same. They're going to need a good gunsmith. But you have disallowed these videos. Why? To make a statement? You aren't going to prevent bad people from having access to this information. So what's the point? The current policies only serve to make YouTube look like a politically biased organization, when instead you could be a beacon of free speech, setting an example for the world. I mean, just listen to the name. YouTube. YouTube. The people. Why are you excluding legal content? That's not YouTube. That's YouTube as long as we don't disagree. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? So why the exclusion? Because the media is against it? It's not MediaTube. The media already has a voice and tremendous power. YouTube should be the voice of the people. And the only way that's going to happen is if YouTube stands up for freedom of speech. Not just speech you agree with, but all speech. There's a famous quote that reads, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. That's freedom of speech. And this requires leadership and courage on the parts of the YouTube executives. Unfortunately, millions of people now perceive this wonderful platform to be biased. Of course, content that promotes hate and violence and other grossly offensive subjects should be excluded. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about legal activities, respective means of employment, valid points of view that, though they may not be popular, they have legitimacy and merit. In a sense, I'm talking about minority rights here, because minorities are being silenced by your policies. What minority, you ask? The smallest minority there is, the individual. Agree? Comment below. Disagree? Slam that dislike button. Your voice should be heard. But no matter how many dislikes there are, Nobody's voice should be silenced.